Hello. In this video, we are going to get started, and over the next couple of videos, we're going to build a simple uh, GUI based program that means graphical user interface that calculates the volume of the cylinder given the radius and the height. Now, if you're following along my website, and if you did activity one, um, you built the same program but in a console based environment. If you follow along on the website, I actually take that code and start with that and start to do some modifications. Instead of doing that, I'm going to build this just starting from scratch. And so what I've done is I've made my first step, GUI Evolve still step one. And in this step, what I'm going to do is I'm going to build a basic function that calculates the volume of a cylinder given the radius and the height. We're not going to do any of the GUI um, or display right now. We're just going to purely do the back end calculation. Okay. So the first thing we're going to do is I'm going to import the math module because I'm going to need this. Um, and remember, you can think about this as a toolbox that contains a whole bunch of functions that we can access. And I need to write a function. So a function, really simply put, a function is a small, small piece of code that can be called, called upon, and executed. Whenever we think about functions, we always think about three things. We need to know what it takes. We need to know what it does, slash what its name is. And we need to know what it returns. You'll notice here, um, I haven't said how it does what it does. And in our case, we're writing the function, so we have to understand how it works. But often, as a programmer, we'll use functions. We don't actually care how it does what it does. We're just going to give it something, and then we're going to take what it returns back to do something with that. So to write a function in Python, we write what's called a def. So I'm going to say def, and I'm going to call this calc vol volume cylinder. You notice that I spelt my function with a lowercase letter, and I've used camel case here. That's good practice as a programmer. And my function is going to take two parameters. It's going to take a parameter for radius, so I'll call that radius. And it's going to take a parameter for the height, and I'll call that height. So for now, I'm just going to say print um, calculate volume function. And that's all I'm going to do. So I'm going to save this. I'm just going to pause and get my console up. OK, so I got my console up. And there's the program there. So I'm going to say Python 3 GUI ball sill step 1.py and you'll see that nothing happens well the reason that nothing happens is because when I start a piece of Python code it's looking for the first piece of code that's that's not indented and so this is an import statement so it runs that but when it sees a definition it knows this is a function so it doesn't actually run any of the code inside of that so if I come down here I'm just going to print for now I'm going to print a start program, and I'm going to hit enter a couple times, and I'm going to print end program. So let's save this. Let's come back in here, run it again. And sure enough, you see start program and end program, and nothing inside this function is run. And that's because I haven't called it, or how we say invoke it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to invoke this function, or call the function. So I'm going to write the name of it, calc ball cylinder. And you see it right there. It's auto-completing it for me. And it's a function, so I'm going to put two brackets there. Now you might notice I've made a mistake, but I want to purposely make this mistake here. So I'm going to save this, come back, run it, and I get an error. What the error is saying is that the function expects two parameters. That is, it expects me to give it two things. And those are the radius and the height. And you'll notice that I've given the function nothing. So I'm going to come in here for now, and I'm going to put a 3, 4. And what that means is that when I invoke this function, the radius is going to get the value 3, and the variable height will get the value 4. So if I come in here and I say print radius, and I say print height, and I save this, give it a run, we get, sure enough, we get start program, calculate volume function, 3, 4, and program. So let's trace this. So I start my program. It works its way down from the top. It says, oh, print start program. So it prints this out. 
Then it invokes the function, so it comes up here, and radius gets set to 3, height gets set to 4, and then I print calculate function, I print out the radius, which is 3, I print out the height, which is 4, and then when I'm done the function, it goes back to where it was called from, which is here, and continues on, so I print and program. So, now let's actually do our calculation. I don't want my function to print anything, so I'm going to get rid of those print statements. And I'm going to write a simple if statement. And I'm going to say this. If radius is greater than or equal to 0, and height is greater than or equal to 0, we're going to say the volume is equal to math.pi. So we're going to access the math module and pull the pi constant out of there. Times pow. And we're using the power function. And the power function takes the first parameter, radius, to the power of 2 times the height. So I've calculated the volume there. And then I'm going to say volume equals, and I'm going to round the volume using the round function. And I'm going to pass it the volume and 2. So the round function is going to take the volume that I've calculated and round it to two decimal places. The round function returns the value that's been rounded and puts it back into volume. Now, I'm going to put an else here. And for now, I'm just going to say print that data. So let's just save this and let's take a look at what happens. And before we do that, let's do print. Let's print the volume here. So let's save this. Let's come back. I'm going to clear this. I'm run it. And notice I get 113.1. Because what's happening is I run the program. It passes a 3 and a 4 into radius and height. It 3 is greater than or equal to 0. That's true. Height is greater than or equal to 0. That's true. And so then it calculates the volume, rounds it to two decimal places, and then prints it out. If I change this parameter to be negative 3, what will happen now is this condition will fail, and it will run the else. And let me show you that. Bad data. Now here's the thing about functions. I want the function to actually go and calculate and generate this value, but the person calling the function should decide what to do with it. So what we can do, as opposed to just printing the volume, we're going to return the volume. And by returning the volume, what that does is, once it's calculated, it spits it back out. And if I come down here, well, the question is, what do I return if, what do I return if the volume is incalculated. Now, what pro functions often do, and this is a common thing with programmers, is they'll return negative 1. And the reason why we'll return negative 1 is because what negative 1 is, is a clear way of indicating that the, the function hasn't calculated the volume correctly, because of course the volume can't be negative 1. So let me give this a save, and then let's run it. And sure enough, I get start program and end program, and it has run the function, but there's no way... To, the question is, how do I get what's been returned back out to deal with it? Let's change that back to positive 3. So remember, when we think about a function, we think about what it takes, what it does, and what it returns. So because this function returns the volume, I can put that into a variable using an assignment statement. So I'm going to say result is equal to. So now what happens is when this function is invoked, it will run the function, return the volume, and that volume value gets placed in the variable result, which is right here. So let's just do this. Let's give that a save. Let's give this a run. And sure enough, I get 113.1. Now you might ask yourself why if I'm rounding to two decimal places, I'm getting a single, a single value there. Uh, the reason for that is because it's 113.10 and Python just doesn't show that zero. If I make this something like, I don't know, 23 and I give it a run, there's my two decimal places. So there's a lot of really important ideas in here and I hope you've managed to kind of follow along. We're, we've now completed our first step to creating um, a GUI version of our of our 
volume of a cylinder calculator. What we're going to do in our next step is build the front end that the user sees. And then what we're going to do is use that to accept the radius and height and have our function calculated. The last thing I want to talk about before I just end, and I kind of isn't any thought, is it's always good to give a method a header. And so the method header describes what it is. So this function takes two numeric values and calculates the volume of a cylinder. It returns, it returns the volume. If the pass parameters are invalid, it returns negative one. As you start building more and more functions, you're going to kind of learn to develop proper documentation around them. It's really important to do this. I hope this helped. Have a wonderful day.